and we're okay. Hello there beautiful people, my name is Rose Salia Shueva and today we are back with another exciting video. I'm chatting with Rovan. We have been talking for almost already three hours or so and I'm so happy. The stories are so interesting and I'm sure you would like this video. And please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let us know in the comment section what's your opinion and thought about this topic that we're going to talk about now. And today we are talking about dating experience in China. <laughs> yeah. Yes, girl. Are you ready? Yeah, then okay. me. <laughs> First of all, please tell them your name, your country, and all that good things. Introduce okay. yourself. Hello, everyone. My name's Ravana. I'm from Russia, and but originally I'm from many countries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and a funny story. Mm -hmm. I'm in China around five years, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a big experience of dating in China. <laughs> It's juicy, a funny experience. Juicy experience, yeah. So you dated, you've been in here for five years. How many guys do you date? If I can ask that number. Um, okay, I date with a lot of guys. But yeah. Most of the parts, it was the first and last dating. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of the first dating. The, last, the first and the last dating experience, right? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, cool. I understand that. It's fine. I have dated a number of people as well in China, honestly. And in fact, for me, I came when I was like 18 years old, like going to 19. So, and now I'm 29. So like I have experienced almost like nine years of trying to date successfully. <laughs> well, did it? Did, did I succeed? I don't think so. I have not succeeded yet in that area. But we are believing that we will succeed one day, right? Anyway, no, girl. Okay. okay, if someone interested in dating with us. Yes. <laughs> Please We're free. <laughs> communicate with us in the comment section and email us. Email us. I'll, I'll leave your WeChat. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> you never know. This world is new. You, you don't know how you will make your Mr. Right, you know? Yeah. Sure. But, but anyways. But Mr. Right is yeah. sometimes is mostly fake. <laughs> Mr. Right sometimes is fake. Girl. I know that. It's, it's sometimes it's, it's the fantasy. Yeah, I think it's more of a fantasy when we go into dating. Like we start, like oh, we can date, we can go to different places. But the first dating, you have just okay, guys and girls. Maybe there's a yeah. show this the best way of you, but mostly there's a not truth, mm. and it shows how cool am I? Yeah. <laughs> just you have to date with my girls. Yeah, but sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, have you dated a Chinese man? Yes, I dated a few times with Chinese men, mm -hmm. and um, okay, Chinese men in dating they are pretty good. Yeah, uh, they are romantic, they are cool in it, and they show the best way of you. Even you go to the restaurant to eat, yeah, uh, he can order all menu for you yeah. just to, just to try a little bit. Yeah, you no need to eat everything. Just he want to show he has money, his success, his mm. rich, his thinking about you, and mm. just. He shows uh, how to say in Asia. He shows his face, face. the best way. Yes, and um, I dated with guy, and um, uh, he had a fancy car, but I didn't know. Maybe it's uh, his not his yes. own, but fancy car, fancy restaurant, just a good menu, everything for you, flowers like uh, maybe size of my chair, <laughs> and he shows how cool he, he can be. Yes. Wow. And. This nice, but mostly Chinese men not interesting when you communicate with them. Mm. Uh, he speaks only about work, oh. mostly doesn't have any hobbies, oh. any interesting, just uh, only work and go back home. Oh, I understand. That will be a very bad thing for me because I love talking too much. I can't date a Chinese man. And okay, they don't have a backup. You just they then have experience in other countries. They don't understand oh. other countries. And uh, okay, I I would talk too much too. Yeah, and speak with them. Just trying to speak with them. Just about interesting, mm. about traveling. But but he doesn't interesting. Just he, oh, he just yeah. what is interesting works and buy labels. Oh, good. Louis Vuitton. Just Louis? some something like just expensive things like labels. Just yeah. For, 
okay, if good, if you can buy it, yeah. but it's not the most important things yeah. you can buy. Just like it cannot solve all your problems. You can have so many fancy bags and all that, but at the end of the day, you will still need more from a partner. Sure, <laughs> just companionship, friendship, like a uh, sense of humor. Of and course, all these great things. Of course. Wow. I'm not a, just a person who who likes labels. Okay, yeah. I like buying things. I like yeah. shopping. Yeah. But for me, it doesn't matter. Just if I like these things, okay. Ah. Just not buying labels. Just I, it's stupid thing. Sometimes people don't have enough money and just they they try to to borrow money from yeah. the bank and buy. It's stupid. <sighs> And for Chinese, almost they like that. Oh right! But let me ask you, what were your favorite things about dating this specific Chinese man? Like, what was your how how long did you date with a Chinese man, and what did you enjoy about them? I'm trying to understand so that I can be well equipped when I go into a dating scene again. You know? <laughs> yeah. What? How long did you date with a Chinese man? Okay, mostly it was. Uh, uh, how did I say? The yeah. first and last date. Oh, really? <laughs> It was like, okay, it was a blind dating, so just some friends offer just, okay, you can just date with this guy, yeah. maybe you're interested in. Yeah. But, <laughs> not. Uh, and only one guy, I date with him around a few months. Ah. Mm, but, okay, we had a little bit different ways. Yes. He needed to get married as soon as possible oh. but i wasn't that person he just uh, i understood it i can't give him what, what he's the, looking for yes and that's why i don't want to just lie to him and say sorry guy i'm not the person you need mm. and okay after a few months he found another girl and got married oh good married is it like a girl from your country uh no i think it's a chinese girl ah. mm, good. He went to his brother wedding party oh. and he's just uh, met the met girl a girl. J yes, and after maybe a few months, maybe one month dating, he got married. They got married. Because yes. they need, because he said, I'm already 30 something, I need. Just mm. it, it's not because he liked this girl, maybe he just uh, he, because he, he just wants to get, to get married. Yes, and I don't understand this. Mm. Just I want to be not just only I need to get married, I want to be in how did I say one team, one unit, be good friends, be good, just uh, husband and nice. partners. Yes, it's m more. Ex more Important. More fun. Yeah, more important to be with a partner, a friendship, to be with a companionship. I mean, like all the good stuff, you know? Yeah. So. But dating a Chinese man, okay, first of all, girls want to know, like, um, how is the D? <laughs> Trust me, girls, if you're important for you, it's not your choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. If that's the D is the most important thing for you, maybe mm, it's not your choice. Maybe, really? no, no, yeah. no, no. For me, it's important how, okay most important thing yeah. how i feel in yeah. the company with him uh the most important my mm. feelings if i feel comfortable and yeah. uh, safety with him yeah. and uh, i like to communicate mm. it's more important than just the d yeah i do understand that because well nowadays they say that there are so many ways to okay it's important too but yeah. not the most no, it's not, not the top thing yeah, not, not the, the top, top thing. thing yeah that's a great thing like it's not the top thing I mean, I'm not advocating and trying to recommend a Chinese man to a lady who is listening, but I, I do want the conversation to be saying, everyone, we are in China, we can try any person. Like, if the person is really giving you all the qualities that you look for into a man, I mean, why not? But because, Chinese men yeah. are really good husbands. Yes. And uh, I have a lot of friends that get yeah. married to Chinese oh, guys. Really? And all they're just really... Uh, happy yeah. in this uh, relationship, yeah. Because okay, we talk about just the chores, about uh, romantics, about mm. everything. He yeah. he could take care of you. It, it's really important. And mm. in my in in my country, yeah. everything just the, in the house chores, everything just the yeah. girls have to be just because it's a girlish work. Yeah. Not in China. Right. Thanks, Kat. Yeah. And you no know, need even cook or do something just because he can do this. You can order. It's not a problem in China. And if you're going to romantic, he's a romantic. If you want to be, he take care of you. He takes care. He can give you everything he has. 
that's why the Chinese guys work. And I heard the Chinese man the best uh, husbands, yes. the Chinese girls the worst wife. Yes. Oh, because we can be so demanding. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm a Chinese girl too. Not by skin, but by heart. <laughs> I'm very demanding. I'm very demanding. I'm very, very demanding. I don't know we, how we like. We all want to be just like right? a princess, and this is a relationship. Mm. You feel it's like a princess. You really just someone who takes care of who you're near. Just yeah. give, give your heart, give your everything to you. It's it's great. It's if you want to be like a princess, and you feel. Sl really comfortable in your relationship yeah. Chinese guys are really good great I love that not not all I think just yeah. it doesn't work for whole country yeah. but mostly mostly yeah girl so you date a Chinese man and you dated an African man yeah. you dated a person from US US yes. as well yeah like let's talk about dating an African man yeah okay my experience was not good about yeah. African guys. yes maybe just how did you guys meet first of all uh, we lived in one dormitory Ah. Just okay. When I live in a dorm, just in my university dorm, I knew, used to know just all my neighbors. Yeah, they come to my room, bring me food from. Okay, I tried food of all countries. Yes, and it's it was so fun and yeah. it's so cool. And uh, we met in a dorm. He lived yeah. to maybe a few doors <laughs> next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I did that as well. <laughs> Dating <laughs> dormitory boys. Uh. <laughs> he was a student, but yeah. Uh, I don't want to speak just uh, bad things yeah. about just it was just that guy. Yes, it was yeah. a little bit strange. Yeah. and uh, I feel myself like I I'm his mom. Yes, <laughs> not his girl. Yeah, like his mom. Yeah, he asked me to care about him. Just yeah. it was a problem for me, but mm -hmm. I want to he take cares about me too. Mm. But he didn't. Yeah, and we just broke up. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And would you like want to date another African man? Why not? For me, it yeah. doesn't matter what from country yes. it is. I, I'm not looking for just country. I'm not looking for just... Uh, I'm looking for my comfort yes. uh, and his character. Yes. Who is he? Just, it, it's more important for yeah, me. Yeah, that's really interesting. And, and like, how, what are the best ways to actually meet a man? Do, do you feel like there are some ways or tips that if someone, someone can, if they are really wanting, intentionally wanting to meet a person right now? Like, how can I meet a man in China? I mean, I, I live in I the don't hostel. know. Just it's a, now for this year is a really yeah. problem. <laughs> Actually, with lockdowns and everything like that, I'm not fan of uh, how to say uh, online dating something yes, programs yes, yeah. because I don't know. I'm old-fashioned girl. <laughs> And I don't like nightclubs and just uh, <laughs> bars. For me, just oh okay. God, I don't know. How, I, I really don't know how to date. <laughs> Sorry. There's no answer. <laughs> no answer. It's it might be like you know, just someone oh. just me just online. They find online guy or girl yeah. and met and fell in love. Someone went to the bar and met there just it's it's worked differently yeah. for each of you yeah for me i don't know yeah <laughs> we don't have the solution right now how to meet a man in china we do not know guys but sure let us know in the comment section what do you guys think yeah how can we meet those great guys in china yeah maybe uh, not only in china just yeah all around the world we hope these borders will open soon and <laughs> we can meet each other at <laughs> different places yeah like our yeah he can come here you can come, come there, there just in yeah you can times go there times. yeah and just just meet anywhere the possibilities are endless right yeah the world That's is amazing. open now yeah the world is open now and everyone can be whatever they want and can be with anyone they want as long as you guys are happy and you are working together as partners i think those are the some of the key points right and yeah so what is the future for us dating what's the future guys since we are all single what's the future find a good man yeah. just and make a really good partnership mm. I hope uh, I will find I'm not rushing it uh, mm. even just uh, in my 30s yes. <laughs> I'm not rushing it yeah uh, it's not a goal mm. just it's a way just sometimes do something together it's easier than do it alone yes but make family because your need mm. it's strange yeah
I, I feel you. I what feel about you? you? Just yeah. what is your favorite dating guy? Are you my favorite? I dated only African guys. Yeah, because my heart. First of all, my just the timeline of my dating experience. First, I came from Namibia. I'm Namibian. I came from Namibia, and I wanted to date Namibians only. So when I came to China, I was looking for Namibian people, and then I I tried and I failed, and then I went to a number of African people, like change countries from one to one, Africa, one <laughs> African many country to the there. next, one African country to the next, and honestly, throughout the whole experience, is to say, I realized that I. All that I've been looking for into a man, I can also find it in myself. Like take care of myself, and this is the journey where I am right now to take care of myself. Like it doesn't matter whether I have a person or not, I'm gonna find my inner peace. You know,、mm -hmm. this is where I am. And are、uh, so when I tried so many different African countries, I realized like we、Maybe、can have communication、else. is one of the yeah. I could try. I would love to try something else. Like not only African. I also don't want to only be. Are guided into one idea of dating a person from one country. My relationship, I would love a partner who expand me in a lot of ways because、oh. I'm already a very hardworking person. So getting a partner that can amplify me, that will just be a plus. Honestly,、It's、yeah.、Good. And so I hope that maybe one day I can meet a person from a different country, whether it's in China or abroad. It doesn't matter. However, I'm still looking our、uh, strength to date a Chinese person. Yeah, I'm still finding strength to date a Chinese person because, our、uh, coming from my background, it's different to. We were trained.、Mm -hmm. Society told me like, yes, you can only date a black person, or you can. It's a little bit of a lot of misconception. You know, it doesn't、it's, matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter right now. It's a lot of misconception. I think it comes. It boils down to accepting myself first, and any person that can partner me with me. In a way that we are complementary, it's possible, you know. Of course. Like I've seen the struggle of even accepting myself as a black woman, like accepting my hair, accepting my color, because you know when I you're like out, hair. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. You're like when you go on the road, you are like stereotypes, a lot of like misconception, a lot of, a lot of things are happening. So I think those are all the 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 points that are engineering in my head. Like, girl, who can you settle down with? You know, but. Dating different African people, I realized like, at the end of the day, we are one. We are the same people, but communication is a key point. Like the value that the person brings to your life is a key point. I have been in relationships where I was giving so much、mm -hmm. because I believed like when I was giving so much, I could get back the same value. But also, I realized like we cannot be loved the way we think. People can love us. Do you yeah, know? Yeah, sure. Like sure. to ask your partner, what do they want? How can we love? Each other better. How can we amplify ourselves? I think those are all my concept of now dating, and I'm open. I really. That's、so、one key point. Yeah. Mostly foreigners in China, they're、yeah. student, and they think、yes. that China is so one of the step of their life. It's not the last step last of step. them. And maybe they're not serious to dating here. Exactly. That's I saw in with foreigners in China. That's so true. Uh, only I saw there's a foreigners dating girls, Chinese girls, to、yeah. want to settle down in China. Yeah. Or、uh, just foreigners and foreigners, even they are from different countries. countries. It's re I saw many sad stories when、yes. they go home and never met again. Yes. And his heart was broken and everything was broken. Just it's difficult.、Yes. And foreigners in China, when you dating with you have to. Realize before you start to dating with foreigner in China. Yeah, that's what's next. What's next, and also where are you as people? Yes, and if it's a student, your plans、mm. should be together. There's students, mostly not serious here. <laughs> Trust me. Don't date students. <laughs> No, for girls, in different ways. The girls, they're how to say,、uh, we are thinking different ways for girls, and for guys, they're thinking different ways.、Yeah. We are from different planets. Sorry,、yeah. guys. <laughs> I didn't say nothing bad,、yeah. but we're from different yes, different places, different cultures, and all that. So, I think the possibilities are endless. But the great thing about me is, I'm really very excited. Of growing up, I'm excited of the wisdom that I have, and I'm excited of the experience that I had with, I think over five. I don't know how many people I dated. I dated so many people. I'm like I cannot even count anymore. <laughs> But the experience of that, I feel it is really good because it helped me become a better person. Like、sure. I couldn't communicate my needs when I came from my family. You know, I didn't know what. How can I love myself? How can I take care of myself? 
I didn't know all those things and I learned those things in China and I'm like I'm like so grateful it's to the important. experience because now it's clear for me when a, a girl start complaining like yeah he's just doing this but he's not doing this and I'm like but what are you doing for yourself sure. you know because maybe she wants a teddy bear every month but can you give yourself a teddy bear every month <laughs> like you can do something for yourself if you want something go for it you know sure, so sure, sure. these are all my thoughts I'm like girl never n- no problem and one thing also like the great thing that comes out okay my character helps me a lot but also it doesn't mean when you're single you are unhappy you know yeah it doesn't matter now yeah. no Is sometimes it, you 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 saw this so many weird couples and they think oh thanks god <laughs> 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 not in this yeah, <laughs> relationship yeah i love i love i love being single it's but one person who yeah. love you forever it's yourself if you love yourself you'll be happy it doesn't matter what's around if you love yourself and you feel comfortable with your own it's mean you are already happy That's so true and, and you know when you two happy people met together they make a happy relationship but when there's people with problems meet together they have a problem pro- relationship problem relationship <laughs> trust me it doesn't you can't replace your problems with your just find someone mm. you can't replace one point if you doesn't love you if yeah. you don't love you how the other people love you exactly don't ask the other people love you if you don't cannot love yourself that's so great that's so powerful girl Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. This is the end of this video guys. Let us know in the comment section what's your thoughts on this topic. I know it's an over and over we keep on updating the news about this topic because it's one of the crucial things. I mean, finding being with a person who really makes you happy, it's very crucial and are uh, we are just sharing our experience. We are not saying we are the right ones. We do not know it all. So that's why it's always important for you guys also watching this video to share us share with us your experience. What do you think? and what do you think our experience can teach you and what is your experience going to teach us so let us know in the comment section yeah it's time to say goodbye now so we can Thank just you. say goodbye